I'm going to show you three different ways on how you can implement Image Gallery Slideshow on your Squarespace website. In Squarespace Editor, you have access to three different types of sections. We have regular sections, gallery sections, and list sections. And I'm going to show you how to make an Image Gallery Slideshow in all of them. We'll start with the gallery section. To find it, just go under Add Section. And then if you scroll down to Images, you'll see some sections have a little eye icon on the right corner. And this icon tells you this is a gallery section. You can choose either one of these. You'll be able to adjust the settings. But let's just start with the basic one so we have as little tweaks as necessary. You'll see that in contrary of our regular sections, we don't have Add Block button on our left, but we have Edit Gallery and Edit Section buttons on our right. Under Edit Gallery is where you can choose all of your images and under Edit Section is where you can apply all the styling settings. You'll see we have our style set to slideshow full because we want it to fill our entire section. But of course you have a bunch of different options as well. Next you can decide if you want your image to be full bleed, meaning the image stretches to the full width of your screen, or you can choose full, which will create a little border around your slideshow. Next, you have the option to change the height and the display of your controls. So you can choose to have arrows, you can have bullet points, or you can hide the controls completely. You can choose to display captions if you have any text associated with the images, and you can set your slideshow to autoplay. Just set the duration of your slides and your images will rotate automatically. You also have the option to add an animation to your gallery section and to add a divider between the next section. Under the color tab, of course, you can change your color themes. Now this would mostly be used if you have the border around your slideshow. So I would say this option is the easiest and most useful if you just want to display beautiful imagery that stretches through the entire section. Okay, so let's replace the images. I'll just upload a few that I already have selected. And if you click on each image separately, you can add the description and you can also add a link associated with the image. If you need to tweak or adjust the focal point of your image, you can simply drag this little circle on your image up and down until you're happy with where your image is centered. So the downside to this option is that you can't have any text or buttons on top of the image slideshow. So now let's take a look at the second option that we have using list sections that allow you to have a bit more content on it. Okay, let's add another section and this time we'll go under people and again, click on one that has the eye icon next to it. And you'll see here we have a mix of images, text and buttons available. If we click on edit content, you'll see a tab appear with all of our elements that we wish to display. So you can choose if you want a title, a button, body copy or image displayed. So now let's see our design settings. First, we want to make sure that our design is set to banner slideshow. And as before, we have an option for it to be full bleed, full or inset. But we can also adjust the padding around it. And obviously, because we have text available here, we can choose the alignment of your content. Let me just quickly change the images here so you'll be able to see better. To change your content, you just have to hit replace, add your alt text, add your title and your description and attach a link if you want to. Okay, back to our design style. So as you can see, if I choose the center alignment, the title, body and your button will all center align. You have an option to have an infinite scroll. You also have an option to show adjacent slides or to just have it full screen. Under style, you can customize the section even further. You can decide the size of your text. You can add a card or a background behind your content. Adjust the padding and adjust the placement of your arrows so you can have them at the center like here or at the bottom. Now this option is great when you have 
a lot of different content to show that needs to link somewhere else or you want to provide new information with each slide. The limitation of this option would be that you can't have it auto-rotate and that you can't have just a fixed text and button, but it will change with each slider. And if that's the option that you're looking for, take a look at this next technique. So here we'll be using a regular section. You can just add a blank section and we will add a gallery block. Under our styling options, we'll choose a slideshow and then you can also choose to have it automatically transition within a certain amount of seconds. You have an option to crop the images, to show or hide the thumbnails at the bottom, to showcase the title and description, and for the purpose of our image slider, we will just make it automatically transition and we'll hide our thumbnails. Now for this option, I suggest you have the images cropped to the size that you wish them to display in. Okay, so let me upload a few photos. And you can see they automatically transition. And because this is a regular section, you can add as many content blocks as you want. You can have your text blocks, your button blocks, even other images, you can overlay the elements and the images will still rotate as normal below. If you see a little overlay shadow on your slideshow, make sure to turn off the transparent background. Another fun option if you want your images to be full width, you can use a carousel and just stretch it to the edges of your screen. You can still have it auto-rotate and play around with element positioning on top. I hope this gave you some ideas on how you can create image sliders in your Squarespace website. And definitely let me know which one was your favorite and which one you will be using on your site. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and feel free to explore my channel for more tutorials. If there's anything specific you're looking for, I'm happy to consider your request for any videos that you want to see next. And if you need a professional help with your website, feel free to explore my website template shop or reach out for a custom project. Thank you for watching and happy creating!